Hey guys, Richard here with Government Sales Momentum. Thanks for listening. Today we're going to pivot a little bit from strategy for how to influence requirements and find opportunities to actually talking about a couple opportunities. And one opportunity within the Department of Defense falls under something called JADC2. Now, you may have heard of this before. You may know a little bit about it, or maybe you're hearing it for the first time. But JADC2 stands for Joint All Domain Command and Control. And really what that equates is, you know, joint means multiple services. So think Air Force, Army, uh, Navy, Marines, etc. You know, when two services work together, we usually refer to that as joint. And when we're talking about all domain command and control, what we're really getting after with this is we want to connect information that is available to all of the warfighters, right? So if you look at the past decades, as we've built up different computer systems and networks, we have repositories of information all over the place that don't speak to each other. You know, you may be familiar with F-22 and F-35 had data links that were incompatible, essentially. Well, that's just an example of two systems that the government has built that don't communicate with each other the way they should. And in today's environment where there's so much information available, we realize that we have got to be able to connect everything. When I say connect, I mean sensor to shooter. So we have things that are flying in space, in the air, we have antennas, we have things on the ground, we have storage uh, systems that needs to all communicate with each other, transfer data. And one of the challenges of this is you have some users that are at the strategic level, the senior leaders, you know, and I'm gonna, this is Department of Defense related, so they need to have a big picture understanding of the mission that they're trying to conduct. So they require one set of information Whereas down at the bottom, you know, the tactical user, the guy maybe flying the aircraft or a soldier on the ground, he requires a different set of information that he can action. So it's how do we get the right information to the right people? So it's, it's, a, it's a very complicated um, problem to solve because we need to make everything communicate with each other. And then we need a way, once it does communicate with each other, of providing the right information to the right people. And that's oversimplifying this grossly, but that's the big picture of what JADC2 is. Um, you know, on the Air Force, you may have heard of uh, things like ABMS, Advanced Battle Management System, in the Army, Project Convergence. But what we're going to talk about today is specific to Project Convergence, because there is an opportunity for companies out there that have technologies that could enable JADC2 uh, to get that in front of the right people at the Army and let them potentially make a decision to uh, conduct some research or to uh, or, or go on contract to do something else. So maybe uh, prototyping or some type of development work. So I'm gonna share my screen with you. I'm gonna show you a little bit about what the Project Convergence website looks like and what some of the requirements are. All right, guys, if you're watching the video, you can see I have the Army Futures Command website up. If you're listening to this in the podcast, that's fine because I'm going to read you what's going on here. But basically, this is a website that tells you a little bit about what Project Convergence is and how you can make a submission. Now, this is armyfuturescommand.com. And it says right underneath that Project Convergence is the joint force experimenting with speed, range, and decision dominance to achieve overmatch and inform the joint war fighting concept and joint all domain command and control, JADC2, a campaign of learning. It leverages a series of joint multi domain engagements to integrate AI, robotics, autonomy to improve battlefield SA, situational awareness, connect sensors with shooter, and accelerate the decision making timeline. And then it has a little tagline at the bottom of that. All that to say, we are trying to connect all of the sensors, all of the information that's out there, and get the right info to the right decision maker at the right time, whether that's a strategic guy on the top or it's a tactical guy or gal on the bottom trying to execute the mission. Now, uh, beneath that, we have Project Convergence 2022 solution submission uh, technology areas, essentially. So if you're a company that has a technology that can enable some of this, and it's very broad, right, um, then I would encourage you to at least investigate this website and see if maybe you're submitting your solution, see if it catches the eye of somebody that's going to be on the other side on, in this case, the Army, uh, that says, hey, this is a technology that we might be able to use to enable the warfighter. Now, some of the technology collaboration areas are sensor, Effects both kinetic and non kinetic. C2, which is command and control, uh, and it says maneuver, fires, intel. 
protection, EW. EW stands for electronic warfare. Uh, that's electromagnetic spectrum, manipulating, uh, identifying things on the ground, et cetera. Communication, SADCOM, aerial and terrestrial. Assured PNT. PNT is position navigating and timing. So navigation and timing. So if you are involved with navigation at all with, um, you know, INUs, for instance, or celestial navigation or any type of navigational technology that doesn't involve GPS, this might be something that you could look at. Robotics, AI, machine learning, medical, sustainment, autonomy, cloud computing, planning. I mean, you can tell there are a lot of areas here. So it's very broad. So if you are doing anything that fits within that, I would definitely take a look at this. Um, you know, cloud computing, you've probably seen some of the, the recent uh, contracts uh, and some of the things like Google pulling out of, uh, of their defense contracting. You, uh, you get Microsoft Azure, uh, you hear a lot about Amazon Web Services. So cloud computing is a big thing right now and how the government's going to, uh, to move forward in the future. Now, off to the right, we have some, it says potential partnership mechanisms, and it basically just includes a variety of ways that government can work with companies, uh, and they're covering everything here from BAAs, Cyber Program, STTR, which I've talked pretty extensively about these on some of my other podcasts, OTAs, etc. We did one podcast just on OTA. So if you want more information on any of those, I would just scroll through our podcast or go to the website, richardchoward.com. I've got some videos up there as well that walk through a lot of this. Um, now, there's a place here for you to submit your solutions. I'm clicking on that uh, really quickly. But basically, it's going to take you to a page where you fill in some uh, easy information. What, what is your name, et cetera? You know, and then it's going to take you through, hey, uh, quad chart template that you would have to put together, some other templates uh, and solution submissions form. But it walks you through the process. So pretty relatively easy if you want to um, you know, knock out something uh, and send a, a submission in here just so you can have someone take a look at it and say, hey, we think this fits or, or maybe it doesn't. It'll give you a good idea. Just scrolling through the website here, it goes through, you know, what does multi-domain mean? And it kind of goes through their domains, land, land air, sea, space, cyber, um, because we certainly, we're trying to connect information in all of those areas. Um, and, and it walks through a little bit more, um, in a little bit more detail, the different capabilities they're looking for. But again, there are a lot of programs like this, um, and I'm not speaking to JADC too, but I mean, um, that aren't something that you necessarily see on SAM.gov. But you may go to, you know, once you have a target agency that you're trying to sell to, I would start investigating uh, some of the different organizations within that agency. You know, uh, we, we get the Department of Defense, right, which also has all the services underneath it. But if you're targeting Army, Army Futures Command is just one piece of the Army, right? So here's one thing that you can look at. But, you know, um, Army Corps of Engineers may be a better fit for what your company provides. You can go check out their websites, the small business sites. And find different, you know, events or potentially opportunities for you to make submissions through like this. They're great ways to get in front of the right people on the other side. I always follow up and ask for a meeting after I make a submission. Um, so that's just a little uh, piece of advice from me to you. And hopefully you found this informative. I'm going to start bringing more of these to you through the podcast. So obviously these are going to be more uh, time sensitive, I guess uh, you could say. So because this is going to be due on December 31st, 2021. But I'm sure there'll be uh, future submission uh, windows that open as well if you're listening to this after that. Always, you could uh, feel free to reach out to us when you talk through what else is going on in the world and how it can apply to your company. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.